Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about um, the sum and the cum sum function. So, um, the basic format for the sum function is you have the variable name on the left hand side, it's assigned the function sum, and inside the function, the first thing you put is the matrix name, um, and then you put a comma, and then the second thing you put is either one or two. You put a one if you want the sum of, um, if you want the sum of columns going down, up and down, um, and two if you want the sum of rows going left and right. Um, and the same thing is true for the cum sum function, which stands for cumulative sum. Um, if you if you remember from math, cumulative sum is when you have when you add these two numbers, you get nine, and then you keep adding, um, and then you get a new sum or a new number from it. That's cumulative sum. So the format for that is you have variable name on the left hand side. It's assigned. Um, this should be cum sum. It's assigned the cum sum function, and inside it you put the matrix name first. Then you put a comma. One if you want the cumulative sum of columns going up and down, and two if you want the cumulative sum of rows going from left to right. So let's do an example problem with it. Here we're given a matrix A, and then the first thing we need to do is find the sum of columns of A. So it's as simple as saying sum. Um, I'm going to skip the assigning this function to a variable or this matrix to a variable. It's going to be a vector, but all vectors are matrices. So here we have the sum, and you the first thing you put inside the function is the matrix name. Here we'll put A comma since we want the sum of columns we'll put one and if you run this you get 17 17 23 19 and 20 so let's just check the cut first two to see if they're all consistent um, 5 plus 3 is 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 7 is 17 so we get 17 for this column now we have 5 plus 4 plus 5 is 14 plus 3 is 17 so we get that so since the first are consistent you don't have to check all of them um, you can just assume they're all right too now we want to find the sum of rows of a so it's basically the same thing except now instead of putting 1 we would put 2 um, so it will uh, take a sum going across from left to right instead of up to uh, from top to bottom so if I if I run this you will see that you get 31 31 17 and 17 um, you can check if you want to um, th this should this should come out to 31 31 17 and 17 <laughs> it's weird because I, I randomly picked those numbers and they came out to like two numbers it's weird okay so Anyways, to now let's use the cum sum function to find the sum of columns. Now instead of using the sum function, we'll use the cum sum function um, to uh, to do the same thing. So you have the first the first thing inside the cum function is the matrix. Then you put a comma, and then you put if you want a cum sum in a, of columns, you put one, and then you hit run, and you see that. You see that two plus two plus seven is nine, so you get nine here. Then two plus seven plus three is twelve, so you get twelve here. And then you, see if you add all of this, two plus seven plus three plus five, you get seventeen. Then you have five plus four, which is nine, so you get nine here. Then you have five plus four plus five, which is fourteen, so you get fourteen here. Five plus four plus five plus three is seventeen, so you get seventeen here. So that's just the sum of all the columns. Now let's. Do, uh, uh, that's the cumulative sum of all columns. Now let's do cumulative sum of all the rows. So you have cum sum or cum sum um, 1 comma 2 which is um, you put a 2 here because it's rows and then if you run this you get 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 5 plus 2 is 14 and then you have 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2, which is 14 plus 8 is 22. 
um, and then you add 9 to it and you get 31 so you just keep adding the next number and, and put it there so that's the cum sum function for you now assume you're asked to add up all the elements in this matrix how would you do it you use a similar method we used in the last video to find max and min you use what's called nesting functions so you put a when you nest functions what you do is you put a function inside a function now to find the overall sum of all these elements there are two ways of doing it one is the nesting function like when you nest two functions which I think is the easiest way of doing it and then there's the one longer way of doing it, which is like extra step but um, so we start the malloc looks at the looks at the innermost function first so inside here if you put um, the matrix name a comma one you have to put a two here if you put a one here you put a two here now what this does is it says okay um, take matrix A and add up all of its columns so it once it adds up all of its columns you have a new matrix um, or our vector which is of size 1 by 5 right once you have that it says okay now add up um, all the rows so do the sum of all the rows so once it's done with that it takes the matrix and um, takes the sum of it and if when you hit run when you hit run you see that you get 96 and if you were to um, add up all of these four numbers you should get uh, if you add up let's see I mean 30, 31 plus 31 plus 17 plus 734 plus so 30 so yeah you should get 96 from that 31 plus 31 plus 17 plus 17 which is 34 so you, you get 96 but the other way of doing this would be to would be to um, write it out again so you have let's call it new a new a is a new matrix and it's assigned the sum or I would call it actually I'll call it um, vector a vector or vector B I guess vector B is assigned the sum of a of the columns of a so when you when you run this I'm going to hide all of these because we don't need these anymore okay so when you when you run this program you'll see that vector B is equal to or is assigned this one by five uh, matrix that contains these elements so once you have that you can say okay sum of vector B vector B and add up all of its uh, add up its rows so it will add up all of these elements so to to indicate rows you put a 2 here and if you hit run you'll see that it gives you 96 so this is there there's two way of doing this um, you can do it this second part this part right here is the same as this you can put it um, in one line of code by just nesting the function but just remember if you put a 1 here you have to put a 2 here so it says just add up the columns first and then the the, col uh, the row vector you get from it add it up to so you get the overall sum um, thank you for watching if you have any questions let me know